and Sugarcane Hanover came from far back on the far outside. And uh, Ron Waples, who won with Glow Softly a little earlier, a driving double, and you get 825, 60, and 340 across the board on the three horse. Everglade Hanover was second in a long shot, paying 1920 and 580. Royal Prestige, who was second in the Hamiltonian, getting a little bit of revenge, beating Nuclear Cosmos to the wire, but finishing third at $2.40. Alan, who you got over there? Got Ron Waples here, and I'm ready to just hand over the tuxedo and the microphone this is turning into the Ron Waples show. Ron, that was a pretty piece of driving. Saved a lot of ground along the inside. Well, we got kind of lucky to save ground on the inside, and then I got out of Everglade Hanover's back, and it was uh, easy from there on. We've got Sugarcane Hanover on an isolated replay here. Nice work by our technical crew. And you'll see here, Ronnie, along the inside, you're going to get some room and slip out. Yeah, uh, Mr. Novak was uh, starting to tire a little around the last turn. I get out in front of him. And you'll Cosmos see here, Ronnie Waples driving alongside the rail, inside of horses and it takes a lot of guts and cool to decide that the inside route might be the best way to go. You're looking for room here, Ron. Yeah, but to be honest, I didn't have any other place to go. Waples there, jammed along the rail, hoping things would work out, and eventually they're going to. Is Johnny Campbell there on the outside, who's got him hemmed in at this point, is going to, his colt, Mr. Novak, is going to start to talk. Ronnie, there's the room. Yeah, it worked out right. Did he have a lot of trot once you pulled him? He seemed to have a whole lot of trot. He felt real good on the lines right there, and I just thought I had a good shot. The early fractions were very quick, 58-1 to the half. And when at this point, do you think you have the race one? Right in here, I do. He was trotting real good, and he seemed good and strong and everything. Is he one of the best trotters you've ever driven? I think he'd have to rank right up there. All right, there you have it. Ronnie Waples wins the three-year-old British Grand Colt Trot, his second win on the program in a row. And let's go back to Dave Johnson. And the trophy presentation being... Uh, conducted in the winner's circle, that's Joe DeFrank holding the trophy. He's the director of standard bread racing here at Garden State. And uh, Sugarcane Hanover takes the big one.